Hey guys, Spartan 117 GW here, and today we're gonna to be talking about something that is so badass. So I've got something here. Of course, I've got this awesome Armadas plate carrier, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. I've been contemplating this and conceptualizing this about a new way to capture airsoft gameplay. So here I have my new setup and on here is a GoPro Hero 5 and it is gimbal stabilized. That's right, airsoft gimbal stabilized gameplay. And from this point of view that it's mounted on my setup, this is more or less kind of a sort of third person, more like over the shoulder uh, point of view. And I just want to talk about some of my ideas about it and why I want to do this. Uh, so recently I became very kind of obsessed with gimbal stabilization. I was walking to a Best Buy one day and then I just saw the video, I happened to be by the GoPro area, of a guy riding a mountain bike with one of these on there. And I was blown away about how smooth it was. The, the footage was so clear and smooth and you could see you could see everything that's i think that's part of the problem is when you have any kind of action cam um you're catching all the movement and everything so sometimes you can't quite see everything very clearly with this you can see everything as you know as smooth and as clear as you wanted it to be um and i was trying to figure out how i would mount it like all these different ideas about how i would use it and i settled on this so it's mounted to the back of my plate carrier and this is the kind of this is just one of the configurations that I have. This is just what happens to be on the back of my Armatus, uh, my Wolf Grey one. So as you can see I have the uh, Karma Grip, which is the gimbal, uh, with the GoPro Hero 5, mounted uh, more or less just by gear ties, uh, webbed through the molly, um, and uh, essentially it keeps it in position, and I've used gear ties before, I've used it on my Jeep, uh, and that's why I was so confident that this would hold, because as you can see, I mean like, it doesn't really twist, it doesn't move, it stays in position, um, you know, it's mounted on the base. Uh, realistically, I would dummy cord because it kind of has like almost like the Wiimote, uh, Wiimote kind of uh, lanyard at the bottom. I would dummy cord that to the plate carrier so if something happened, this wouldn't go flying off completely. Uh, of course, what's really cool about the Karma Grip, and other than the stability, one of the reasons why I chose it, well, it's kind of made for action sports, a little more ruggedized, a little bit beefier. Um, also, the built-in functionality with the GoPro, both the on-off mode and the modes, the record, uh, the instant record, the uh, uh, highlight mode, and of course, tilt and stuff like that, and the fact that you can charge the GoPro through the gimbal with a battery pack. So you have a battery pack, and you have a good battery pack, you can keep this as long as you want running, to be honest. And I have a 128 gig uh, SD card in the GoPro, so I can do like eight hours straight if I really, 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 really wanted to. In this current configuration, this one will uh, give me like a couple, a couple extra hours worth of uh, gimbal time. Uh, the GoPro has a two hour battery in it. The gimbal's got a two hour battery built in the stick. But with this, I really don't have to worry about anything going on with the battery in the gimbal. It's got a couple lights on it, uh, which are about 25% per, per if you were just running around with the gimbal by itself. And as you can see, with this setup, I even didn't get space for an extra mag. So it's actually very uh, useful. Now, one thing to note is that I wanted a third person or over the shoulder gimbal cam that didn't stick out too much. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great solutions guys have out there. A lot of guys do some really cool stuff. I just wanted something that didn't stick out too much. Um, and so this really stays within the frame or silhouette of my body. And um, it's, and one thing I was kind of worried about is, well, how does it work with helmets? Am I gonna be bumping this all the time? Now, if you go really crazy, you've got a really long net, you might bump it. And of course, you might bump like full agent trees and stuff like that, but it auto corrects really, really well. The motors and the gimbal are pretty in good quality. Um, and with the helmet, especially high cut, like an MTech or anything like that, uh, I didn't really have any problems at all, really. You're just running around. Uh, and what's great is when you go prone, the gimbal stays straight. Uh, when you're running around, when you're tilting, look, check in corners, everything is level, it's smooth, it's beautiful. I, I absolutely love it so far. Uh, and you know, the, the way the whole mount uh, base and everything, the functionality is great. Now, is it perfect? Not quite. 
The Karma has some issues, well, not to the Karma, the GoPro in general has issues where sometimes you'll press something and sometimes the GoPro won't go on or sometimes it won't record or whatever. So a couple quirks here and there. That, and I'm not gonna lie, the GoPro Hero 5 does not have the best audio. So if I were you, I would still run a helmet cam and I don't really consider this a complete replacement for your helmet cam because obviously I have it on one side. I can't see on the other side. And a helmet cam is really nice when you're looking down uh, around a corner and stuff like that. Uh, even, even if I was aiming down this corner, it doesn't have the best field of view. But for most intents and purposes when you're running around, and this is set up for a righty, so um, it's on the left shoulder. And if you were a lefty, it would be set up on the right shoulder. Uh, that gives you the best field of view. One of the reasons why I went with this is because I want you to be able to see and get context about what I'm doing, what's going on, but also get a really cool, very clear visual of what's going on in the world around me. And all, it almost puts me more into the video or into, into the environment so that it almost looks like I'm floating around within the screen. It's really, really cool. Um, and I just, I love the functionality and I love how it essentially looks. I like to call this, and I've dubbing this right now, the Predcam. Why? Because it's very reminiscent of the Predator's plasma cannon, uh, where it kind of like you know, follows and tracks and stuff like that. It's so cool. Uh, I mean, the only thing that's, I can even think that's even close to this is like something from Aliens and stuff where they got like the, the sentry guns and stuff like that. Uh, the, uh, but it's, it's a very clean setup. Uh, I know the gear ties aren't the nicest looking, but they grip really well and they keep this in place. I um, mean, and, and that's, more or less it, it's pretty straightforward and simple. And as you can see, it is fantastic. I'm really excited to uh, get footage of this. I used this recently, Op34. The GoPro doesn't do like dark, dark, like if there's no light like inside inside of Op34, then you might have some issues, but outside it was working fine. And I'm gonna be using this at Wildlands this weekend, but this is a really fantastic setup. I'm really hoping that this kind of pushes Airsoft gameplay in a new direction. Uh, you know, I could be that guy and just keep all the information to myself, but I kind of want to give you guys the information. So I would love to see what kind of setups you guys come up with this. Cause you know, one way or another, when someone starts, you know, using a new camera or new equipment, everyone eventually starts using it anyways. But I figured I'd tell you guys about it, show it to you guys how I have it set up. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This has kind of reinvigorated my love for airsoft gameplay. That's one thing I've kind of been lacking recently, but part partially because I've been waiting for something like this to really reinvigorate that love for capturing the moment. And it's gimbal stabilized footage is so beautiful. So that more or less covers this. Uh, a couple other uh, things, if you got questions about it, I'm gonna try to answer as many questions about this as I can. I have questions on my Facebook. I have questions about on my Instagram and stuff like that. Oh yeah, just so you know, ballpark price. The gimbal itself is like 300 bucks and the GoPro retails about 400. So you're looking at like a $700 investment. But if you do a lot of gameplay and you got some money and extra, you know, tax money left over, this could be a worthy investment. Uh, and it's also cool if when you're adventuring and you're traveling too, you can just use the GoPro gimbal as you would normally would or any other person would outside of the tactical world. Uh, fun fact, my buddy from the Marine Corps, uh, Matthew Callahan, who is known as Galactic Warfighters, he takes all those really cool Star Wars, you know, warfighter kind of pictures. He is really interested in the setup, so I would love to see this setup be used in a real combat environment and or in a training environment. It's so cool. And he, you know, he's a film guy, so I'm really excited to see if he does anything with it. Uh, also, one last thing, because of how it is and where it sets, you definitely, even though it's as low profile as I can get it, you do have to be aware of where it is when you're going through pipes and foliage and you know areas where there's things sticking out. So you, do, you have to be aware of that. Uh, but last few things, uh, make sure to check out uh, Mad Duo at BreachBankClear.com. I believe you can use the code SPARTAN117GW, get you 20% off on uh, BreachBankClear. Uh, also, uh, I have, um, a thing going on with Focus Factor. It's a gaming energy drink. It's really, really cool. That thing will get you wired for a while. It's, and it tastes pretty good too. They actually introduced mango recently too. So make sure you, you guys check that out. There's even a bottle with my face on it. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, but that's all I can think of right now other than, oh yes, one more thing. I also just started a Patreon. So 
If you want to see more really cool footage and more cool um, content, uh, you know, shorts, gameplay footage, this and the other, your contributions monthly make a big difference. Uh, one of the rewards is you get a free patch out of it, uh, depending on what level of support that you give. Please check out the Patreon link. We all know that YouTube's kind of gone haywire right now, and the future of YouTube is in ways kind of almost unsure. Uh, but I really appreciate your guys' support. I want to make good content for you. For for me, at the end of the day, it's pretty much it, making good content for you, seeing what you guys think, and just having fun with it. So looking forward to playing with you guys out on the field or seeing you, at, uh, seeing you guys at the next event. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW. I'll see you guys next time.